All right, what is up, everybody? We are back with another edition of Everyday Hoops. Hope you guys are having a good one. Today, we're going to be talking about Team USA. They played their first official Olympic game playing against Serbia. Got a big blowout win. I'm going to talk all about it here in today's video. Thank you guys for the views on the videos and the shorts recently. I really appreciate it. If you do like the content around here, consider subscribing, like, turn on notifications, do all stuff like that. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps out a lot. Uh, join the membership if you want to learn more about the membership there's a video on my channel saying all of it you can go back and watch that look to my twitter tiktok stuff like that in the description down below and uh yeah don't waste any more of your time let's get right into it so team usa played their first official olympic game um in paris france playing against serbia and they end up getting the win 110 to 84 an absolute dominant performance from them specifically that little end of second early third they kind of you know blew the game open and dominated this game. And it was the old guys, LeBron and KD. Kevin Durant playing, finally playing his first game. He missed all of the uh, exhibition games due to a calf injury. He came back in this game. It was absolutely amazing. Only played 16 minutes. Finished with 23 points. Shot 8 for 9 from the field. 5 for 5 from 3. Made his first 8 shots of the game. Which is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's Kevin Durant. You know how great he is. But I've been saying throughout the entire, you know, Showcase games without Kevin Durant. It's like once Kevin Durant comes back, I feel like things are going to start changing. Things are going to really start clicking. And that's what Kevin Durant did. He really came in and just made everything work. Making every shot that he took, literally, making every shot he took just seamlessly fitting. Like you wouldn't have expected that he had missed all five games before coming into this game. Like you would not think that watching him play, he was absolutely amazing. And LeBron James being the best player on the court again 21, 8, and 9. And another absolutely amazing performance. He shot 9 for 13. It was 8 for 10 from the field as well. He was great. Just doing everything uh, defensively. Getting teammates involved. Dunking still. Like, he was just absolutely incredible as well. And those two really stole the show. Those two were the best players on the court la that today. And they were absolutely dominant. Juhad also had a really nice game. 15 points. 4 rebounds in this game. A couple of assists. A couple steals. Uh, he shot 6 for 8, he had a couple 3-pointers. He had a, another really nice game too, being connected. He played 23 minutes, uh, hitting a lot of good shots, playing really good defense as well. Just doing Juhadi things, you know. And then Devin Booker, 12 points in this game as well. He hit 4 3-pointers. Uh, the 3-point shot for Team USA was on it. Team USA shot 18 for 32, they're 56% from 3. 18 3-pointers they made, Kevin Durant 5, you know, Devin Booker hit 4, Juhadi hit Steph, both had 3, Anthony Edwards had 2, LeBron hit 1. Uh, just another uh, really good shooting performance from three. With the last couple games, you know, in the showcase, they didn't really have great three-point shooting performances. And that's going to happen sometimes. But in this game, they were absolutely lights out from three. But there was a lot of other things. Defensively, they were really, really good. Really love what they did defensively. Uh, Bam and AD, you know, that defensive duo is locked down. And that's, I think, a big reason why Joel Embiid has still been starting. Even though a lot of people, including maybe me at one point, calling for Joel Embiid's job, like starting job, being like Anthony Davis, who... I think probably has been the most consistent player on Team USA in the showcase games to be kind of, you know, put on the bench and let AD run it. But I feel like the Anthony Davis, Bam Adebayo defensive, you know, front court that they have is just too good to replace. Because then it turns into Bam and Joel, which is really good. But Anthony Davis and Bam Adebayo are just so versatile and so amazing defensively. They can do so many great things at the rim, on the perimeter. Get Like, they just, they no one, you can't score on them. You cannot score on Bam and Anthony Davis consistently. And just having those two in the lineup together playing was amazing. Even though statistically it didn't look crazy, Bam only had four points, uh, two rebounds, two assists. Uh, AD with seven and eight in this game. Neither had a block. But, I mean, just the defensive mon the, the monster of a defense of those two are crazy. Especially against a guy like Nicole Jokic today, who still had a good game, still had 20 points, at 8-15, only five rebounds. In this game, and then only, oh, actually, he had eight assists. I'm sorry, I was the wrong one. He had eight assists, which still is a good game for him, but he wasn't as, he wasn't dominant, Nicole Jokic. And a big part of that is Bam and AD, and that's also why Joel Embiid only played 11 minutes in this game. Four points, he was out early, didn't play a whole lot, which has been something that we have seen throughout the entire showcase games. Now, in this game, with no Joel, with Joel Embiid not playing a whole lot, because even though he is really good, that eight, Anthony Davis has been amazing. And that AD and Bam defensive combo is just elite. It's stellar. And then Steph and Anthony Edwards both did their thing. Steph, 11 points. He had three three-pointers. He hit that one deep three. 
Uh, he was a great 11 3 and 3. And then Anthony Edwards with 11 and 5 as well. He had a couple three pointers. I uh, like what I saw today from him. Then, yeah, and then Derek White played 15 minutes, two points. Uh, had a block, a nice block, two steals, just doing Derek White things. Uh, one of the big things in this game, though, was no Jason Tatum, no Tyrus Halliburton as well. Tyrus Halliburton did not play in the last showcase game. So I'm not really surprised that Tyrese Halliburton isn't playing a whole lot. He's probably going to be the odd man out. I explained it in my last USA video. But no Jason Tatum in this game, which is very, very, very interesting to me, especially with Serbia, who I think is probably a bigger team, for, in my opinion. No Jason Tatum. But no JT in this game. Um, don't be surprised if he plays a lot of next game. Like Team USA has so many good players. I mean, all these guys are all-star, like great players, and so interchangeable that I feel like Steve Kerr just has... A, like a gauntlet in his hand where he can play whatever lineup. Like this game, they need a lot more defense at low and then they need a lot of spacing outside. So they went with a lot of Bam and Drew. I mean, Bam and AD. And then they went guards. They went Derek White, Devin Booker, Drew Holiday, Steph Curry. And then with Kevin Durant back as well, who kind of plays a similar position to Jason Tatum. I can see Jason Tatum kind of getting cut out there as well. But this game, they wanted to go with a lot more bigs and then guards around the bigs, you know, to, com to combo the guarding Jokic while also being fast on the perimeter. Against the big guys. What? In another game, down the line, if they have to play someone with more size, you know, and got to play more of a physical type game, Jason Tatum will be right in there. So I wouldn't really, like, worry about it too much or go crazy over, oh my God, Jason Tatum didn't play? Is he bad? Like, what, what happened? It's just situational. Like, this team is so great. They have so many great players on the team. Someone's going to get left out. Tyrus Halliburton has been the guy. But some people are going to get left out. And sometimes some people are going to have their games. Some people aren't going to have their games. Jay Tatum can have another game where he shows out. Joan B can have a game where he shows out and plays 25 minutes. But he can also have a game where he plays 11 minutes like he did today. You know, Anthony Edwards, 19 minutes today. Maybe he has a game where he only plays 12 because he just isn't scoring the ball. Kevin Durant only played 16 minutes today. You assume as he keeps going on, he's going to play. He's going to have a game where he hits 25-26. So it's just, that's that's what it is. You have so many great players on this team that you're going to miss, miss a match. You're going to do that. But eventually they got the win. Uh, just in a most amazing game. Again, a three-point shot. I feel like it was absolutely stellar. They won the rebounding battle as well, 39-32. to 32. Uh, They won the assist battle, 24-18. to 18. Uh, They did lose a turnover battle again. They did have 17 more turnovers in this game. So it's still something they have to clean up there. Um, but, no, not not so bad. And then, yeah, another really good defensive showcase from them, only allowing Jokic to get 20. And, yeah, so we're really in, in it right now. For every team has played at least one game so far in the Olympics earlier today. More Group C action, which is what the U.S. is in. South Sudan beat Puerto Rico 9-79. to Carla Jones led that team with 19 points. The USA, they play South Sudan in their next game on Wednesday. And then catching up, just a little bit on some other things that happened. The other groups, Group B, Germany beat Japan by 20 in their game. Uh, Dennis Schroeder had an amazing game. He had, I think, what? 13 points, 12 assists. Franz Wagner had 22. 15 for Mo Wagner, 18 for Daniel Tice. Just a great, Germany's just a great team in general. And then France beat Brazil by 12 in their game. And yeah, Wemby, 19, 9, uh, 3 blocks, 4 steals. Just doing Wemby things. Nick Batum also had a really good game with 19 points in that one. And then in Group A action, Australia beat Spain. I think that was the first game of the Olympics, 92-80. to 80. Uh, Australia has a really good team as well. Josh Giddy had a good game, 17-8-8, 19 for Patty Mills, 29-5 for Jock Landell. He's been great. And then Canada beat Greece, 86-79 to 79 in their first action. They were led by Shea, who finished with 21 points. Andre Bear also had 23 points. He actually led the team, but Shea also had 21 Five and three. Barge had another really nice game. They're another really good team. So, yeah, more Olympic basketball coming. Uh, I don't think we have games tomorrow, but I think Tuesday is when games start back up, I want to say. I'm checking right now. Yeah, so no games tomorrow. And then Thursday, I mean Tuesday, we have everybody. And then the U.S. plays their next game. They play against South Sudan, who gave them a scare, you know, in their showcase game. So we'll see what happens in, you know, the real Olympic game. I assume USA is going to come out with more. You know, with a more of fire, especially considering how last game went. But we'll see what happens. But yeah, it's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you do like the content around here, consider subscribing. Like, turn notifications. Also like that. I'd really appreciate it. It really upset a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.